Well, but yeah, we made it here to the top of Pico Mountain off the Sun Express. What a beautiful day. Slato, look over there. Right Aww. there behind you all. Beautiful Killington Mountain. But hey, let's, we said, why don't we try something different today? Let's come over to Pico and check it out. Yeah, and we're trying out a different host today, too. Hi. How did is, I get here? We got Patina. What happened? Patina, I forgot, filling in here from Killington today. <laughs> of course, you recognize her from every morning, 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. But uh, well, who can resist coming to Pico in the afternoon? No, nobody can. Nobody. That's a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm so excited we're here. You know, the best thing, if you watch your show, you know that the best thing about Pico, super family friendly. Uh, definitely a couple gears, you know, slower in pace than Big Sister Killington over there, or Big Brother. And uh, the other thing too is all the trails here lead right back to the Bay Lodge. It's almost impossible to lose your kids here. They yeah. always end up right down there at the lodge. Yes, they do. And they can feel autonomous and have some fun. You really have some great steep, some amazing, uh, very vigorous terrain here, but beautiful family friendly stuff. Your Killington lift ticket, if you're coming from Killington, is good here. So you don't even have to swap it out. Take your boots off keep your ticket and your gear on and boom you can spend a day over here and it's just down the road but it is really truly worlds away i love it here hey we're gonna have some fun today yeah we're not here just to ski around yeah. we are actually here to do our show it's cape town lowdown we've got a bunch of stuff coming your way we've got a couple interviews with a couple native vermonters one's a pro skier one's the other pro snowboarder it's ian compton and yale cusino they're going to join us here for some interviews and uh, i'm going to catch up with aaron fernandez executive director of vermont adaptive uh, ski and sports that's such right a cool down program here. Oh, yeah, man. We're going to find out uh, some information from her about uh, the, the uh, mission of Vermont Adaptive, and uh, they got some big plans we're going to share with you. They got big, uh, big dreams and expectations here for the coming summer. Yes, well, definitely. And speaking of big plans and exciting stuff, we know there's some great music coming to town. Now, the Tweed River Music Festival is something I think maybe folks are familiar with. Really cool, very grassroots vibe. I caught up with Bo, and uh, I'm going to check in with him. He's going to tell us more about the, the roots of Tweed River Music, but how they're bringing it to Pico the week before Snowmont Music Festival. So talk about some big acts coming to town right here. you got to be a part of it. Yeah, and as, as always, once we... Get Get our boots off. We're gonna hit two of our favorite Epres places. It's Slopeside uh, Bar and Grill and the Lookout say, Tavern. All good. So you don't want to miss it. Well, what do you say we make a couple runs and uh, find some interviews? Let's make some turns, Mr. Slade. Race you to the bottom. All right, let's go. I protect it on. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> 